Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so it's going to be a an oracle four card you pick. Uh, finish with a diet cross all same deck okay four cards uh, Oracle so those are yes and no's and then they're going to be further defined with a diet cross uh, after that so Le Grand Circus and Sideshow Tarot by Joe Lee these are really terrific cards they come in a very nice box if you received them as a gift or gave them as a gift you'd feel like oh that's a, that was a nice gift and um, the cards themselves are really nice um, they're done in the style of sort of circus posters. And uh, the guidebook uh, is really a very nice little guidebook. This fellow, Joe Lee, uh, was a very interesting uh, person, or is a very interesting person. And uh, I want to find, there's a little bit here that talks about him. Um, but he was a circus performer. He went to the Clown College in Florida, which I'm from Florida, and I'm very well with the Clown College here uh, uh, that uh, you can go to to get a, a degree in that. And then uh, he's done other things in his life. And then once he decided... Uh, that he would create uh, tarot cards. He uh, designed these um, to be so very useful. They're easy to use. Um, the art on them is amazing. And if you know your right away system, you're not going to have a problem, you know, deciphering uh, what these cards are, are going to mean. I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory and fun, fun, fun to look at. So, you know, I do this so that you can have a look at these cards uh, and, you know, if you're not a person who collects cards or looks at a bunch of tarot cards, otherwise you're only going to see the few cards that a reader pulls at a time. And uh, I think it's just that you're missing out on a lot. So, you know, this uh, Le Grand uh, Circus Sideshow Tarot, I love using these. So this will be a nice uh, draw today. This Oracle four card, uh, you pick, finish with a dyadic cross. Those will be good. So you just want to take a deep breath. Clear your mind. Make room for your question or your questions. You can even kind of think right now about which card it is you might want to choose. There'll be four of them. And then uh, hopefully we'll get something that'll be right on the nose, right on the clown nose for you today. Four card oracle, dad across, clarity at the end. Four cards. One, two, three, four. Stick these over here because we're going to need them in a minute to finish off. And um, let's mix them up. Now you'll get to choose one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Remember, you can stop the tape if uh, you want to just to take a minute. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, I'm going to put these three cards away right here. And we'll see what this first card is. We picked card number one. Okay, this is the King of Cups. And the King of, you know, Cups are emotion, uh, passion. Uh, some, someone, the King of Cups is someone who is very much in charge of their emotions. Um, and so, that's a big yes card. So, number one. King of Cups, that's you. He chose number two. This is the Hermit. And uh, the Hermit is very introspective. He's shining a light on the issue. He's taking some time before he makes a move forward. This uh, Clown Hermit has got one shoe on, one shoe off. Uh, so he'd be very careful about making a move. And uh, so this Hermit is, uh, it seems like a no card to me. He chose number three. Number three is the hanged man. I, I turned it upside down. It was not upside down. Uh, is the hanged man. So the hanged man is, uh, take a minute to look at this from another perspective. Uh, maybe you're made to uh, uh, take a minute before you proceed in this issue. Uh, the hanged man for me is a no. And then the last card is uh, the uh, two. And so that's the empress. Oh no, this is the two of cups. I apologize. So this is the two of cups. And the two of cups are partnerships. Um, it's a, again, emotional uh, passionate issues. Uh, it could be uh, something personal or something business. 
but the two of cups is an emotional issue that uh, that uh, has to be agreed upon to move forward. So if those those are the four cards, and now we'll take the first one and just uh, drill down on that. And um, what do I have here? Yeah. So that is the signifier card as the King of Cups. So that's a big uh, offer of emotion. The King of Cups is fully in charge. Uh, sometimes it's called the Benign King, um, but I don't really think of him that way. I think that the, the King is really paying attention to the uh, passions and uh, the, what's personal in his kingdom and the fellow he's going to be ahead. Uh, that's how I look at it. So King of Cups is a great signifier for this uh, six card dyadic cross. And I'm going to spread these out here. Let's do one cut. choose five cards to finish this off. So this will be one, two, three, four, and five. Put these off to the side here. And then again in a minute. These five cards, we're going to see what is the challenge to this compassionate, uh, in charge King of Cups. Challenge to that uh, which was the yes card. Challenge that is the King of Coins. So the King of Coins is uh, the fellow who's really uh, got a handle on his worth. I mean, this fella uh, looks like he knows uh, from his appearance that he's better than you. He's trying to give you that appearance. He knows what he's worth, and uh, we're going to see what you're worth. So that's the challenge to this King of Cups, uh, a very compassionate king, uh, dealing uh, with someone or something that is strictly a value-driven uh, issue. In the... Um, in the um, base of this reading uh, then is the eight of swords and the eight of swords just like this poor uh, woman here is a ve feeling very very hemmed in a lot of truths a lot, lot of rules a lot of justice here um, hasn't quite hit home with you you've been lucky but you really feel uh, trapped when in fact you can just move forward so that is the basis of that reading and the past of this reading is the star and so, you know, being the star would almost put you in this trapped position. But being the star is really in charge of everything that you, you want to have done. So you're coming to this issue having been fully in charge, really just pouring all of your, your passion right into this issue. And so that's how you came into this issue as a star. Now, the, the sky of this reading then is the Four Swords. And the Four Swords is all about, um, oh gosh, my mind's a blank. Four Swords. I'm going to have to look at my cheat sheet over here. Okay. Did you, oh, yeah, this is the fellow. Yeah, when he's a, this is the knight that's asleep uh, on the coffin. So, yeah, so the Four Swords is really, um, and this fellow here in the circus, he's take, laying on a bed of nails that feature Four Swords in particular. He's even got a further um, weight of the issue on his chest. So the Four of Swords is really, not really taking a rest, but having to really feel the full, full, full weight of what this uh, problem is um, at your peril. And the, but the likely outcome of all of this is the Magician, and that's a fantastic way to come out of this because this is a fellow who has everything at his disposal to make this happen. It may be uh, in appearance, because if you look at this Magician, he's operating above a table, and below here we have the Devil and uh, an Angel. So uh, whether he has to make it appear like this has happened or it actually has happened is a matter of, um, you know, someone making a decision if they think that's how it went down. But that's what you've got if that's the number one card that you picked, the uh, King of Cups. All good in the end. Okay, so for the second one, if that's the one you chose, we're going to look at as a signifier, the Hermit. And so the Hermit is a sad clown who's really taken a minute to shine a light on the issue but the sad thing is is that he's not shining the light out he's really just shining the light on the small area right around the base of where he is so he's not going to make a lot of progress the hermit is going to creep along looking at every little inch as he moves so we need five cards to finish off that this is going to be uh, one two three four and five so let's see what the hermit's going to do for us here the challenge to this introspection is the seven of wands which is all about really 
having to um, almost choose your battles. You've got plenty of plans, plenty of action uh, coming up on you. You've got a great big handle on it. And what you've got looks like could defeat any of these here, but uh, it means it's going to be a chore. So, uh, the, which says to me that taking a minute to see what it is you're aiming at is probably a pretty good idea. Uh, the base of this reading then is the Three of Swords, and that's heartache. And, you know, I think this is actually the first time I've seen this card. So she has a heart you know, emblazoned on her uniform right here. And uh, the Three of Swords is just uh, really um, the truths, uh, the rules, uh, something could not be avoided. And that's what's been the base of all of this. In the past of this reading is the uh, Ten of Cups. Oh, no, yeah, Ten of Cups. And the, uh, the Ten of Cups is just all about, you know, having everything it's a great big wish card it's a great big everything is fantastic look at my trophies look at how well trained everything is in my life and it's all a celebration and it's all here for show and i want you to look at it so we came into this kind of splashy the um the uh, sky of this reading then is the four four of what four pinnacles yeah that's the four pinnacles as a matter of fact so here we have the fella he's at the ticket booth and he's really got a handle on all the bags of cash uh, that are inside here. I see one pinnacle on his visor, uh, the other a bag of cash in his hand. He's got two more bags of cash at his feet. So the four pinnacles is all about bringing in everything that you've got and making an accounting of that. Okay. And then the likely outcome for all of this is justice. So of course it is. Um, what is uh, just is uh, what should guide our decisions in this regard. So you really go into yourself and decide uh, what uh, will be the honest, true, fair thing to do in this situation. That was number two. Okay, now if you chose number three, then we're going to be talking about the hanged man. Hanged man has always uh, got to take a beat, uh, made to look at something from another perspective. Uh, you're really not going to go forward right now, although you can move forward. This fellow can untangle his feet. He's in complete control of this uh, acrobatic stunt that he's involved in. Um, but uh, he's going to keep us in suspense until just the right time. So really taking time to study that issue until it's the perfect time to uh, reveal uh, how you're going to untangle yourself from it. So again, we're going to take five cards out of here. This is one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And if this was your choice, number three, then the challenge to getting a perspective on things is going to be the two of swords, of course, once you've got a perspective, you've got to decide which way you're going to go. And I always like to say, as everybody knows who watches me, that we've got truth and, and justice here. So you've got to choose which way you're going to go. And you're in a hot seat. Look at this. This is an electric chair that's put this poor woman on display with an electric uh, cap on her head. So this two of swords is, a, look at this, the, the uh, uh, flip switch to turn on the electricity is right here. So what's on? So it's on because down is on and up is off. So yeah, this is a charged issue, and you've got to get up off this chair and go one way or the other before you fry yourself. The basis of this reading is the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Cups is very proud to show you how very much she is in control of her passions and emotions. She has not spilled a drop, and she'll swing around, and she'll continue this routine, and she will continue to be completely in charge of you know, all of those emotions right there. You can count on the Queen of Cups, so that's where we were. In the past of this reading, are the lovers and the lovers are partnerships that are really you can really take to heart this is whether it's personal whether it's business whether it's in a temporary uh, transaction or a temporary arrangement or relationship uh, these lovers are committed to each other and uh, and won't ever forget with this uh, this elephant right here so love that in the sky of this reading is the nine of cups and this is like the uh, wish fulfillment card is like you know she's showing you look what I can do I, I with the help of, of all of that I uh, have, have balanced out all of my trophies up here on this uh, huge uh, elephant, and uh, we will never forget uh, how this has affected us. And then in the uh, future of this reading is the, uh, oh, what is this? Temperance. Temperance is fantastic because it's balancing out. you got the, the two sides of yourself right here, and really tossing that uh, those emotions back and forth between these cups, keeping everything just the way it has to be. Okay, there's you and there's you, and you are in charge. So temperance is the perfect way 
for this issue to balance out after you've got a perspective, made the decision, um, had the confidence, um, made the partnerships, um, emboldened with your choice, and keep your balance about it. Love that. And then the last card in this roundup is number four, if that was your choice. And of course, I've already forgotten what it was. I'm sure you remember because it was uh, personal to you. But that is, oh yeah, the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups is, again, it's about partnerships. It's about uh, relying on the other person to do their part. Uh, both of these people, this is a joint effort. This can't happen without both of these folks here. It's twice as dazzling when everybody's cooperating. Okay? So let's see what we get for the end result for this last card, number four. Going to need five cards out of here. One, two, three, four, and five. All done with these. And we'll see what is the challenge to the signifier of the Two of Cups partnerships. The challenge of that is ah, the Pope S. So the Two of Cups is against the uh, number two of the Major Arcana, the Pope S. And the Pope S is all-knowing, all-seeing, really in charge. You feel like once you step into her space, um, she's going to tell you what's going to happen and you're going to be in awe. So partnerships um, is challenged by hmm, the knowledge and the intuition uh, of knowing uh, how this is going to end up. That's interesting. The uh, base of this reading is then the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is moving uh, out of out of trouble. Um, so these Six of Swords here, this makes me... Th I'm not sure how I feel about the Six of Swords. It's typically moving out of troubled water, so uh, with some protection. So th these folks have taken, uh, w with the help of this strong man, these folks here have taken what they've gotten, what's uh, honest and true and valuable, and real and uh, doing it the right way they decided to move out of this area here and uh, so that's interesting as a base of that reading the uh, past of this reading here is wow twos is the two of wands and the two of wands making plans you know you know this fellow is looking at the world deciding uh, how he's gonna go about this and um, so yeah it's making plans getting us getting things uh, underway the sky of this reading is again that four of swords just the caution the pressure of getting this right if you don't get it right it's not going to be good and it's going to hurt and then the um, likely outcome for all of this then is again i love it when the cards repeat like that it kind of makes me feel like they're working with me is the four of coins the coins you can see here on his head and his hands and at his feet uh this fella is really guarding all the value that uh, he has so uh, that's how uh, that's the cautionary tale I guess of this is to uh, don't uh, give up your value um, easily so those are the four cards that we have today and I really hope something good came out of that for you so I really like those uh, four cards today everything had a, a forward-moving message uh, which it, it always would have anyway um, but uh, those were enjoyable and I love those cards so Look good to me. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.